Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I want to be doing something different. I want to show you guys how to make a smoothie. So, this is a, a cup, this is the lid, and what you're going to need is a blender right here. Let's go, on, on. Let's go ahead and plug that in first. And I want to show you how to make a strawberry and banana smoothie. So, let's go ahead and get started started all the ingredients so all the ingredients are in the kitchen let's get started okay so our first ingredient is we're gonna be peeling off the banana we're gonna we're gonna be adding a half banana so it will fit in this small what this small blender here it is put the banana away And, and the next thing you need is probably like one cup of strawberries. If you have like, if you're making like a small one, if you're making like a small smoothie, you can use like three quarters of, three quarters in a cup. This time we're gonna, because I'm making just a strawberry banana smoothie. I'm going to be putting all the strawberries in there. Some of them were taken, please note, some of them were taken out due to how bad they are, while the other ones remain in, while the others remain fresh. Anyways, let's get, let's move on to the first step. The first step is, I'm going to put, to make it sweet, I'm going to be putting vanilla ice cream. This is Briar's vanilla ice cream. You can also use different types of ice cream, but if, but if you but if you can't but if you could you can make your own homemade ice cream. And it should make the smoothie taste even better. This is what this is this is what it looks like. Sorry about that guys. This is what it looks like, and I know the steam isn't away. Um, put the lid back on. Put it in the freezer. Now there is at least one. There's at least one more ingredient, which it easy, which it makes. The whole ingredients turn into liquid. It's cream. And for flavoring, I am going to be using probably like a half amount of of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. But you can use like a fair line, I think. You can use fair line milk if you would like. So yeah, and let's put this in the fridge. And let's go ahead and wipe out the mess I made. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Alright, alright guys, we are all set. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna take you guys to the laundry to the laundry room. So you guys right here a moment. And then you get, as you can see there's a lid. This is where it will chop all the fruit. So it will work very pow very well. So anyways, let's get you guys right here. I think I can hold it. And what you're gonna do is make sure it's all the way on tight. Let me recheck that. This is a this is probably an unedited video. 
Yep, it's it's all the way tight. After you make sure it's tight, I need you to uh, flip it like this. As you can see, oh, the color is changing. Uh, uh, because of strawberries. Uh, and what I need you to do is you're going to just set this right here. And turn it until it locks. So anyways, here comes the good part. All right, I gotta put these on because it's gonna be loud. All right, got my headphones on. And for example, I'm using a, my Nutrient Bullet. So there are all your settings. I use the extract button. So let's go ahead and do that. Three, two, one. <laughs> And what you need to do is to unlock it, you just do this. You just turn it counterclockwise. And I'm going to bring it back to the kitchen. I'm going to get myself, I'm going to get a cup. Let's see it right here. myself a cup and, and open this up careful because there might be some there might be something like that <laughs> oh, did it. get that out of the way Taste this first. Mm -mm. Oh, it tastes really good. I've done a great job, guys. guys this is how you make your own smoothie I'll try to do a better one the next time I make one but this time I'll put more fruits in there all right thanks for watching and, and see you in the next one everybody take care <laughs>